knowing what the eating disorder is telling you to do is the biggest mistake of your life. In honor of National Eating Disorder Awareness Week 2014, which has the theme, I had no idea, I wanted to give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like to live with anorexia and to live with someone who has anorexia. This series of interviews is an intimate look at life with someone with an eating disorder. I hope that it gives you hope and also inspires you to help make a difference and stop anorexia and other eating disorders. I want to be able to make decisions for myself rather than the eating disorder saying I can't wear that or I can't eat that or I can't go there is just very obsessive and lonely. Sometimes I feel cheated out of a life that I know I could have. I feel like I don't have the freedom to just pick up and go because I also have to be very time conscious mm -hmm. of when Jolene needs to eat, when she needs me, and then if it's too late or too early, it's it's it, very anxiety provoking for her. And, and that's how we've been able to, um, I think, cope is to Jolene is Jolene and Ed is Ed. It's not that Jolene is Ed or Ed is Jolene. They are two separate beings, yep. and you treat them as such to keep their sanity. Well, and in order to keep our relationship with her because if we wouldn't view them as two separate things we would view the eating disorder as her and we would hate her yeah i think you would you would you really you you hate you hate the person that is doing it because if you look at it it's just like well she's not eating she's the only she's doing this she's doing that she's not doing this she's not doing that oh well, no you know it's it's the eating disorder it's not her and that, that didn't happen right away. It took us a while. Took us a, while. It took us a number of years to get onto that, but now it's very cut and dry, Julie versus Ed. That's because I think at the very day. beginning we did hate her a little bit. I really yeah. do think we did, like um, because we weren't able to separate it at all. Like I remember being feeling very jealous of the fact that she got everyone, ev well, mom and dad, and just everyone else. We were that was actually a really tumultuous time for both of us. Um, high school was awful for both of us at that time, and. No one cared, no one asked really. And so we're having these terrible times and then people would be like, Oh, how's your sister? Yeah, it's like well, she's got right. some things. Just yeah. Um, it's surprising how much of like it almost is like a person. Like anorexia is almost a person. Meanwhile you guys named nicknamed it Ed, yeah. right? Yeah, so that's the biggest surprise. I always thought it was just like like a sickness or something, mm -hmm. but it really it almost has a personality and it shows its ugly face very often. That's the most surprising thing to me, I think. The eating disorder pretty much takes over schedule, it takes over, you know, obviously around eating, when we go out to eat, if we can go out to eat, mm -hmm. where we go out to eat, at home, uh, the eating disorder tries to schedule when we have meals and what we have for meals and what's prepared for meals. And it's you know, if we go away on vacation, we have to always make sure that we've got somebody to cover to take care of her. And so, in a lot of ways, it's, you know, really changed our freedoms. If you or someone you know is struggling from an eating disorder, please do not hesitate to get help. It's something that will absolutely change your life and not in the way that you think it will. Together, we can help stop eating disorders. We just need to raise our voices. So join me this week as we raise awareness and help to stop eating disorders.